This is a uh, Fox News alert. Let's get to this. This morning, senators will be sworn in as jurors for DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas's impeachment trial. But it could be short lived as Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer is reportedly planning to dismiss the trial altogether. Lucas Simonson is live in Washington with the latest on it. Hey, Lucas. Good morning, guys. Well, not quite as somber as Holy Week. House lawmakers led a procession across the Capitol Rotunda into the Senate to deliver those impeachment articles yesterday, something not seen in the halls of Congress for 148 years. At the same time, DHS Chief Alejandro Mayorkas was facing questions from House lawmakers. Is a terrorist attack inside the United States of America imminent? Let me assure you, Congressman, that the safety and security of the American people is our highest priority. Is it imminent? Um, the same answer, Congressman. Is, is a terror attack on the homeland of the United States of America imminent today? Let me assure you that we remain vigilant. For three years, Mayorkas denied there was a crisis on the southern border. Over 7 million migrants have been encountered since President Biden took office. That's more than three times more for the four years under Donald Trump. Mayorkas recently changed his assessment and now calls it a crisis. He also said the federal government is doing all it can to keep illegal migrants from coming in. With the uh, resources and the authorities that we have been provided, it is as secure as we can make it. President Biden's ICE director will be testifying today on fentanyl after former Attorney General Bill Barr said the following. Simply put, without China's production and export of fentanyl and fentanyl precursors, there would be no fentanyl crisis in the United States. And the mass slaughter would effectively stop. The impeachment of Mayorkas was only the 22nd time in U.S. history that someone has been impeached. Guys? All right, Lucas, That's thank Lucas. you very much. Uh, also yesterday, speaking of fentanyl, uh, it was revealed, I saw the news reporting, that apparently uh, companies in China that make the fentanyl precursors get rebates from China, totaling a lot of money to go ahead and manufacture the stuff. However, the one caveat is they have to sell it out Outside. of the country. They can't sell it in China because they know that it is addictive and it kills people. So it's curious. So China knowingly is subsidizing these companies that are causing the, the fentanyl crisis in the United States. And we know that our president has said, you got to do something about it. And they nod. And so, yeah, we're well, working on it. But just the fact that China is paying companies to ship it to us is just a shame. That's why the actual trial of this impeachment is so important. I get that a lot of those on the left probably won't vote for it, but I think they should be on record, especially those senators are, that are in swing states. Uh, but it's not just Mayorkas that is on trial right here. It's the Biden administration's policy on this. And I just think you got to leave it up to the voters, but it deserves a vote in the Senate. So we lose 200 Americans a day. That's a that's a packed 737 crashing every single day to fentanyl yep. use. Now we know that China not only makes the precursors, they incentivize people to move it out of the country and come here, and they pay the cartels to manufacture it and smuggle it through. So it comes through. How much more proof between TikTok manipulating our next generation of people with news, between fentanyl killing people uh, subliminally or throughout our country, to the direct challenge we're getting everywhere, to the non cyber attacks that we, the FBI director told us every 12 hours, mm -hmm. he opens up another file on another Chinese cyber attack. What other proof do you need that we're at war with this country? Well, and what matters most to us, other than our faith, mm -hmm. our children, right? Mm -hmm. I listened to Todd Pyro interview a lady. Was it yesterday? Did y'all hear the interview? Was it yesterday, Carly? Um, a mom who lost her daughter, yeah. who took just a half of a Percocet. Is that what it was, Carly? Yeah. yeah. A Percocet. And the daughter died. And she said, this was not an overdose. It was a poison. This was a poison. My was daughter there fentanyl was poisoned. In the there was Percocet? fentanyl, fentanyl. Wow. in the Percocet. Okay. And when you look at the picture of Mayorkas, and you hear that lady's story, she said, this is the problem. This guy is allowing our borders to be open and inadvertently is killing people. Yeah. There's well, an MSNBC first... cut with him just yeah. bragging about the 90 uh, executive orders he overturned, how he undid everything that Trump did. He was bragging about it. Now he denies he did any of it. 
Well, we had a president that was putting tariffs on China and made them feel, I mean, look, them feel the pressure. Well, this pressure said, never took. This president said, never took them off. The, pr the problem is, uh, Mayorkas is simply doing what the White House wants him to do. Uh, they get rid of him, they impeach him, they bring in a new guy, going to do exactly the same thing. How can you live with yourself, though? How can you do that? Talk to How Joe Biden. It's Joe Biden's policy. Can he find another job where he he's not? People Opening resign the all the time. People aren't dying. Yep. Yeah. If, you know, you would think this How guy had with yourself? this guy had an ounce of integrity. If he really didn't believe what he was doing, he would have resigned. Mayor you know, says the border you know, is as, as secure as it can be, especially right. when he knows better. It's it's a lot. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.